Hi, I'm Todd Allen, commercial trainer for GE Appliances. Come on in and get comfortable. This video demonstrates the steps to install the RAR ED1A Interior Electronic Control Air Conditioner. With the GE Appliances outdoor unit installed, you have verified your roof opening meets size and clearance requirements, electrical requirements, and you have removed power from the circuit and applied lockout tagout procedures, we can begin the installation. This includes the mounting template with bolts, the air division baffle, a smart thermostat control, and ceiling panel. Let's get started. Take note of the nut locations on the outdoor unit. These will be used to align and secure the mounting template. Align the mounting template over the roof opening, orienting the larger opening towards the front of the RV. Install the four M8 mounting bolts into the nuts of the outdoor unit previously noted. When all four bolts are installed and secure, Use a torque wrench rated for 0 to 60 inch pounds and evenly tighten all four bolts to 35 inch pounds, plus or minus 5 inch pounds. Place the air division baffle into position as shown on the mounting template. Ensure the baffle is firmly pressed against the base pan of the outdoor unit to form an airtight seal. Secure the baffle to the mounting template using three sheet metal screws included with a kit. Secure the baffle to the framing timber using two screws on each side. Locate the smart thermostat control and secure the control to the mounting template as shown using four sheet metal screws from the kit. Remove and retain three screws from the thermostat control to gain access to the control board. Note. The main control is hinged for easy access and installation. Dress wiring in the control box to provide access to the thermistor connections. Reach into the outdoor unit and pull wiring harnesses from the outdoor unit into the RV. Connect the two thermistor harness to the main board. And connect the single thermistor harness to the main board. Access thermostat wiring, furnace wiring, and 12 volt DC supply wiring as applicable. Connect the 12 volt DC RV power supply to the control. The red wire inside the control connects to 12 volt DC positive, and the black wire inside the control connects to 12 volt DC negative. Connect the RV thermostat wiring to the control thermostat wiring. The red wire with white tracer is 12 volt DC positive, the black wire with white tracer is 12 volt DC negative, and the yellow wire is the communication wire. If applicable, connect furnace wiring to the main control. Note, furnace wiring is not specific. Reversing these wires will not negatively impact operation. Route the 115 volt AC RV branch circuit through the strain relief on the control box. Using wiring nuts, connect 115 volt AC branch circuit to the main control. Black is line, white is neutral, and green is ground. Use electrical tape to secure the connectors to the wiring to prevent any potential movement due to vehicle vibration. Tighten the strain relief, taking care not to damage wiring. Dress the wiring inside the main control to provide access to the 6-pin rooftop power supply. Connect the 6-pin power supply to the main control. Dress all wiring inside the control and route wires through the U-shaped channel on the left front of the control box. Close the control. and reinstall the three screws previously removed. 
Locate the ceiling panel and remove the filter retainer and filter. Note, these holes will be used to secure the ceiling panel to the mounting template. Use six sheet metal screws from the kit and secure the ceiling panel. Replace the filter and filter retainer. Install the screw covers on the ceiling panel. This completes the installation. GE Appliances, you provide the adventure, we provide the comfort.